This quick tip will show you how to create unique filter envelope patterns for sustained sounds in live. You can use this technique on any sustained sounds, but it works particularly well on bass lines. So I've created this MIDI clip for my bass sound here, with lots of long sustained notes. At the moment then, it's very loud, due to the amount of high frequencies in the bass sound. So if I add auto filter to the track, then it's common to filter some of these frequencies out with a low pass. But it can also be nice to have the cutoff go up and down. Which you can of course draw in manually with automation if you like, but an easier way of achieving this and making a cool rhythmic pattern is using the filter sidechain section. It lives in this side panel, as with other effects, accessed via the arrow switch, and you then need to turn it on and choose the input source. So I'll create a MIDI track now, and then add a drum rack to it. Then I'll drag any drum sample to the rack, so maybe a kick. It's not too important what the sample is, as it's not going to be heard, we're just using it for its transient, so the only important factor is the amplitude envelope of the sample, so how long the sample lasts. Now then, I'll create a simple pattern for the kick. And now I'll unmute the bass, and then choose the drum rack as the input source for the bass filter sidechain, and turn up the envelope amount. And you can hear the kick is now triggering the filter. So I'll mute the kick, as we don't want to hear that, and now I can play around with the filter to get it sounding right, adjusting the envelope amount and the attack and release, with a very low attack and short decay, creating a brief downward filter sweep. And a longer attack, adding an upward one at the start for a softer sound. and I can change the filter pattern at any point by editing the drum rack's MIDI clip. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip, see you next time.